beginning chapter 1.5 this is going to be a two day section because we're going to separate the adding and subtracting uh, up to this point of algebra our understanding of, of addition and subtraction have been very basic uh, unfortunately this experience that you've had can be somewhat confusing in the bigger picture for now I want you to actually forget that addition and subtraction are two separate processes uh, focus only on addition uh, and use that as a in terms of a definition as a combination of two numbers with positive or negative signs. So in other words, I am telling you right now that in algebra there is no such thing as subtraction. Uh, so it's only addition, which is what we're going to focus on. For example, learn to view the following questions as a combination of two numbers. This is not 6 plus 5. It is a positive 6 combined with a positive 5, and that's how we're going to view it. This is really not negative 2 plus 8. It is a negative 2 combined with a positive 8. This is not 9 minus 2. It is a positive 9 combined with a negative 2. Just like this is not negative 4 minus 10, it is a negative 4 combined with a negative 10, which is why I said that when you separate the numbers out, there is no more addition subtraction. You are simply combining these two numbers and seeing what their result is. So our next step is to understand how numbers combine. So for that, I will be using counting chips to kind of illustrate it. Again, if at any point this doesn't make sense, please bring your uh, work up to me so that I can uh, show you what's going on. So the first thing I want to model for you is 3 plus negative 5. And what I'm going to use again is some counting chips. 3 is a positive 3. On counting chips, yellow typically means positive. That represents 3 positives plus negative 5. So what I'm going to do here is put 5 negatives because that's how negative 5 is shown. So again, you've got 3 positives, which is your positive 3. You've got five negatives, which is your negative five. The plus sign just means put these two things together. Well, thinking in common sense, if this represents one step forward and that represents one step backwards, then these two things actually offset each other and cancel out because one step forward, one step backward is zero. So we can take that set off. We have another pair here that matches and eliminates. We have another pair here that matches and eliminates. And when everything is gone and everything is done, notice what you have left over which is two negatives and your answer would be negative two. Even check it on the calculator because you'll be able to do that later. You simply type in exactly what you see which is three plus parentheses negative five. Type it exactly the way you see it and see that your answer matches what we have on, that pa on the paper here. Negative two plus six. Again, you won't need counting chips. We'll do it a different way but again just to understand there's your negative two and then positive six would be six yellow chips. One two, three, four, five, and six. And so when you work this out again you are looking for anything that cancels and once they cancel you have your answer. Here's two things that always cancel out because positive and negative cancel. Another pair of positive and negative that cancels. Everything is now gone and what we have left is four yellow chips or a positive four which you don't need to put the positive. You can just put four. Again, checking this on your calculator, which you should try to do for yourself, just to make sure you can when you have to. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. There you go. One more example before we move on to what you're actually going to be doing, just to make sure you understand the movement of the numbers. Uh, negative 5 plus negative 2. So 5 negatives. Sorry, that should be red. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. That's your negative 5. And then negative 2 means I need two negatives over here. Notice that when I put these two things together, there is no set of opposites, which means that nothing happens. All you do now is combine them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 negatives, which means your answer is negative 7. And again, take your calculator out and make sure you type this in for yourself. Negative 5 plus parentheses negative 2 parentheses equals. And notice that the answer matches. What I want you to pay attention to is that when signs are different, they cancel each other out. But when signs are the same, they just kind of work together to make a bigger group like they just did. This is where our work is going to change from counting chips to plus signs and minus signs. Instead of using a yellow chip, we're going to put pluses. Instead of using a red chip, we're going to put minuses. Uh, we're going to use the amount to indicate the numeric value, and then uh, we will answer questions that prepare us for the material today. So what you're going to do just like you're going to do on your math Excel is you're going to model the problem in using plus and minus signs and then you're just going to answer the questions that follow. They're not tough questions but they're questions that I need you to answer so that I know you understand uh, how the numbers work which is really the only point of the day. So what you'll see on your first math Excel questions is something like this 4 plus negative 7 and there will be two boxes 
what you will do is take this positive 4 means put 4 plus signs down and then negative 7 means put 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 negative signs down that's the first thing you will do on your math excel and then you're going to answer these questions how many signs cancel out well how many pairs can we have there's a plus and a minus gone there's a plus and a minus gone another plus and a minus gone another plus and minus gone so four of them cancel two there or sorry one set there one there one there and one there when it says how many signs cancel it means how many pairs of signs cancel so again four sets cancel out but notice that's the lower number and that's really all we have left which sign is left over means look back up here the sign that I have left over is negatives and that'll be your answer to that how many are left three and then of course if there are three negatives left over your final answer is negative three that's what you're going to do to start model it using pluses and minuses talk about how many pairs cancel tell which sign is left over tell how many are left and then give me the final answer that is all you have to do on the first part now that might seem like a lot of work but it's what I need you to do to prove to me that you understand what's going on here you have negative 5 plus 8 again when you go to um, model that first thing you are going to do is put 5 negatives 1 2 3 4 5 positive 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that'll be your first answer how many cancel out well 1 2 3 4 and five so five sets cancel out which sign is left over is the plus again that's the answer you're gonna give how many are left well there are three of them left and so your final answer is three remember you don't need to put the plus down because three is already positive and there's no need to put a plus in front of it that's all you have to do let's try this without modeling which is another part of what you're going to do and you can just imagine or you can do it with modeling but again what I want you to do is try to think about this if I put eight negatives on the on the paper and I put four negatives on the paper is anything going to cancel and that's really all you're asking yourself if there are negatives here and negatives there is anything going to cancel keep in mind the only time they cancel is whenever there's a negative and a positive which means that they don't cancel and so really what we do is we put everything together which means eight negatives and four negatives make twelve negatives because you're putting them together alright that's what I want you to try you'll miss some of them but again on the homework on the computer you can miss those things as many times as necessary just make sure you're understanding your answer because keep in mind homework is only 10 percent of your grade and this math XL is preparing you for the test more than anything else and these questions are what's going to be on the test 5 plus negative 8 once again imagine putting 5 positives 8 negatives keep in mind whenever there are positives and negatives in front of you something cancels five of them should cancel negatives should be left over and there are three more negatives and positives because eight minus five is three that's really all you have to do again you're gonna take some time it's gonna take some time for you to get used to that but that's pretty much what you're doing or um, you can use your calculator to kinda of check your logic whatever you do just make sure you're getting better at it negative three plus seven if I put three negatives and seven positives there's going to be canceling positives are left over and there are four more positives than negatives which means my answer is four alright but again try those out they're meant to be small no numbers on those are bigger than ten uh, there are some questions that I'll say use your calculator on for your programming practice but for this or for that set all I want you to do is try to answer them and see if you can get them right and if you can't bring it up and let me try to help you understand it better we are also going to use this new concept to solve problems with negative and positive attributes for example Joseph gets into an elevator goes up six floors after going down four floors he then went up another ten what is the overall change in Joseph's elevation what you have to understand is that up six is a positive six he then went down four which is adding a negative four he then went up ten which is adding ten and so this is what we are looking at and when you go to answer that just simply take your calculator which we'll talk about some other ways to do this later but take your calculator and simply type it in six plus parentheses negative four close plus ten equals twelve and overall it means he started on the ground he went up one two three four five six he then went down one two three four 
He then went up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you count the floors, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is what you have right there. So again, using those numbers helps us to get that final answer much easier than usual. Your math Excel is going to start out feeling kind of boring, but it is important that you actually understand how numbers work. Today and tomorrow is going to be a little tough in terms of patience, uh, but we are going to be back on track next week and very soon. Just hang in there and open your mind to the concept. That's all I need you to do. Uh, if you do that, then these algebraic ideas coming up are going to be easier to understand overall. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to be easy, but it means that you'll get them better if you try to understand how the numbers work today and tomorrow. If not, then you're going to be fighting to figure out what's going on for a long time. So again, take your time. You've got a long uh, period left behind you. I only used 10 minutes, 11 minutes of your video time. So you now have about 30 to 40 minutes of pure practice and asking questions. I do want you to work together. Make sure you're working appropriately. Otherwise, expect to get a zero for the day and lose your computer. But again, you know this already. Just uh, do what you're supposed to do. Take care of your business and we should be okay. Good luck.